Hi, this is a very brief tutorial on how to install Jogal in Eclipse. So starting from my website, I um, search for Jogal and I once wrote a post called Jogal Download where I provide a URL where you can find the pre-compiled binaries. In this post, I also um, talk about Glugan and Jogal. Um, that are two libraries that you need uh, in your class path in order to run it. So I download Glugan. Um, make sure you pick the right version version here. Um, I'm running a 64-bit um, system, so I'm downloading this one. Um, now I download Drogal. Same version. And they all end up in my download folder. Those are old. So basically these two are my downloaded downloaded um, binaries. I extract them. And I peek into them. So yeah, there's stuff in it. Looks good. I can delete those two guys. All right. Uh, so far for downloading. Now let's go to Eclipse. Um, this is my juvenile Eclipse setup, so no project in it. I create a project. Okay, let's make this a little bit smaller. Jogal, hello world. Um, so it's empty. I create a lib folder for my libraries. Um, in this libraries folder, I copy the following jars. Those two basically. All right. So the same here, jogal.all and jogal all natives. So those four jars end up in, in my libraries folder. I add them to the build path. All right. So there is um, no code to execute yet. So I create a new package. Let's call it jogal hello world or something. And I go back to my blog um, where I um, wrote another post on how to set up um, Jogal in Eclipse. And there I provide two basic example classes that come in handy now, which we can use here. So the first one is Hello World. Right. The second one is render dot the renderer dot Java. Right. Okay, looks good. They compile. Everything looks smooth. Okay, so if I try to run it, it will probably not work. Ah, yeah. So um, the compiler. Now it's actually the runtime environment that says that. There is an unsatisfied link or a no glugen RT in my class path. Um, well, that means there is a DLL missing. And um, the interesting thing is it's actually in here. So I have to extract it um, from the jar file. So it's in here. That's where I downloaded it. I extract it in here. So, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the DLL file and I copy it into the base folder right so the base folder of my project okay I try to rerun it let's see what message we get this time um, all right this time we get a message saying can't load AMD 64-bit DLL on a 33 3 32 bit platform okay the problem is here that um, I'm running a the wrong JRE all right so I switch to a 64-bit um, GRE and yay we're done